recording. Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to give you a quick report on this. Um, that Paul and Adrian are, well it's off desert farming with Paul and Adrian. Off grid desert farming with Paul and Adrian. Uh, they're a good site to keep up with. Um, and this is something we had been talking about I think five or six years ago they started having earthquakes here. Um, let me enlarge this. Um, these Canary Islands over off the coast of Africa. Let me let you listen to him for a minute and tell you what it, it could do. And uh, it has uh, volcanoes on it. And what they're saying, there's one volcano uh, on the Canary Island. Now, if this volcano blows its top, uh, this could trigger a massive um, landslide into the Atlantic Ocean, causing a tsunami that will reach 3,000 feet right off the coast of La Palma, and it could inundate the entire eastern coast of the United States. They said if this volcano erupts and this landslide happens, then uh, you can expect a, a tsunami wave of at least 100 feet high, uh, maybe higher, uh, to hit the entire east coast of the United States. Uh, there would be about an eight-hour warning, but um, this is not be re being reported on the global incident earthquake map. They are not showing any earthquakes, but this is the, uh, the alert. They have just issued a yellow alert on the island of uh, La Palma for a volcanic eruption. Uh, that I'm reading you the uh, alert right here. La Palma Volcanic Canary Island, Spain active update yellow alert for a Cumbre Veja declared. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop it there and, and just say uh, I wanted y'all to be aware of it. We, we have heard this before. We do know that there are, are several prophecies out there about tsunamis hitting the eastern coast of the United States. We know that there are prophecies talking about the western coast. Uh, California especially uh, breaking in half and sliding into the ocean. I've been hearing that a long time. So this is just something that I, I was going through. Uh, something else and then this. And and I was thinking, do I really need to report on this? And, and, I, and what came to my mind was, if the watchman sees a sword coming and doesn't uh, tell the people and they die, their their blood will be on his hands. It's the scripture. And I thought, oh, okay, okay, Lord, I'll go ahead and report this. You see, I'm being really picky and choosy because my energy level is still not what I'd like because of, uh, you know, what I told you about before, I got some new subscribers. What it is, is I'm trying to get off all pharmacia, all my medication. And there are things that um, you can't just stop. You have to come, you know, minimize the dosages and then, you know, before you can just stop them. And I've been on this just 75 milligrams of Effexor. It's an antidepressant that I got put on. A long time ago um, after I was put on a heart medicine it turns out causes depression in like 17% of people well anyway I had plenty enough reason to be depressed and I did have a spirit of depression and suicide is one of the two of the spirits that got kicked out when I had heart healing and deliverance I've had seven sessions over the last year. One, you know, like a year ago, and then one. Yeah, one was before I had my heart procedure. Before my heart started acting up in October of last year. That was my first one. And then I had one early this year, and then three, like in a row, like a month ago, and then two this year recently, and just some things that needed to be dealt with and yesterday I believe it was I was sitting here looking at this lamp that's bumped beside my bed and it's a beautiful bracelet my daughter bought me my kids don't speak to me right now 
three years going out going on three years because they said I'm a spiritual hypocrite well I was I used to be so uh but God has stayed with me I've stayed with him despite thinking I had to have a man in my life I finally realized after marrying the third one men men will let you down every time real early on he let me down and I learned um, we need to be seeking Jesus as our husband literally Isaiah 54 5 let me look it up let me look it up. I need a blue letter Bible. Yeah, that's it. Boy, the internet's slow today. Or this site maybe is slow. Okay. Multiple verse retrieval. Let's do quick nav. Come on, turn into a cursor for heaven's sakes. What's the problem? It won't let me. Huh. Oh, there we go. All right. Let me find Isaiah. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I tell you what, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Anyway, it says, thy maker is thy husband. So I have this tank top that I wear. It says, Jesus is my husband. Isaiah 54, 5. I'm pretty sure that's the scripture. But for some reason, Blue Letter Bible is not wanting to open up. And it's flipping around things <laughs> no, that it isn't, shouldn't be doing. I usually go straight to it. And I went to it. And my cursor just turned into a line and <laughs> wouldn't let me click on it. <laughs> I think um, the powers that be, or Satan, somebody, <laughs> really wants me to just quit, y'all, because I get real tempted, but I won't. Um, I'm trying to bring you Isaiah. See, it won't even, there it went, Isaiah. Thank you so much, Lord, 54.5. I want to make sure when I say something, and I'm burning up again. It's, I'll tell you, 54.5. For thy maker is thine husband. This is the King James Version. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the horrors, shall.